welcome to this aircraft engineered and today we are talking about the differences between the Boeing 737-800 and the 737 MAX. So the 737-NG used to be Boeing's most advanced narrow body plane until the Boeing 737 MAX appeared. This fourth generation Boeing 737 launched in 2011 took its maiden flight on January 29, 2016. It comes with more efficient CFM International Leap 1B engines, some aerodynamic changes including distinctive split tip winglets and airframe modification. But today we want to talk about the 14.5% fuel open advantage that comes with the 737 MAX compared to the 737NG. So who is this guy right here? Well, you can't speak of the 737 MAX without talking about the Airbus A320neo. The Airbus A320neo is a re-engined Airbus A320 with CFM Leap or Pratt & Whitney GTF engines fitted with shackles as a standard. It was launched on December 2010 and made its first flight on September 25, 2014. Now, the big catch about the Airbus A320neo is that it comes with a 15-20% to fuel pen advantage over the previous A320. Now, this 15% fuel pen advantage on the Airbus A320neo is the main reason why we have some major structural changes on the 737 MAX compared to the 737NG. So now, let's look at them. So, in 2011, one design objective was matching fuel pen of the 737 MAX to that of the Airbus A320neo's 15% fuel pen advantage. Now, let's go to the airplanes themselves physically and see the changes themselves. So, we start our journey with the engines. This is the old CFM 56-7B, which powers the 737NG. And this is the old new CFM Leap 1B, which powers the 737 MAX. It is a larger fan compared to the CFM 56-7B engine. The Leap engine comes with a higher bypass ratio, a higher overall pressure ratio, lower noise emission, lower carbon emissions, lower nitrogen oxide emissions. But the big problem with the CFM Leap came with the engine ground clearance. This is a CFM 56-7B, look at the clearance already. So the main selling point of the 737 MAX was the fuel burn, but then there's no fuel burn without an efficient engine. So Boeing had to make a plan in terms of the ground clearance to maintain the same 17 inch or 43 centimeter ground clearance of previous 737's engine nacelles. So the first thing was to increase the height of the nose gear strut by 20 centimeters, that is 8 inches. Now we are here on the 737NG nose wheel well. So let's take a look at the NG uh, 737NG nose strut. Look at it and then you compare and contrast with the one for the 737 MAX. Now let's look at the one on the 737 MAX. As you can see the 737 MAX nose gear is higher than the NG. You can get the attachment, the, the strut attachment and even the track strut. You can actually see it's longer than the NG. Next is uh, the wing tips. So this is uh, the classic uh, 0.737 wing tip and this one is the 737 MAX wing tip. This gives a fuel open advantage of almost 2%. So now we are almost at 13% with efficient engines. Our fuel open is almost at 13%, 13.5%. Now let's see what else we The can. 737 MAX engines were also mounted higher and further forward on the wings. Now let's continue our journey to the back of the plane, the APU Telcon. Boeing introduced a 787 like Telcon and revised the APU inlet and exhaust. This added an extra 1% to the fuel open advantage. Though there are a lot of slight changes Boeing made on the 737 MAX, but these ones I pointed out are the major ones that you actually can physically see externally. So the next video we're going to go internally and we look at the system differences between the two. But for now, ciao, thank you for watching.